My name is Ramon Guadalquivir, System Operations Director for the Metro Region. I've uh, been with the company 25 years. Uh, my name is Bill Kruger, Manager of Resource Management. I'm Stacy Paller. I'm a Field Operations Supervisor out of Glen Ellen. I'm Jimmy Stovall. Uh, I'm Bellwood Operations Mechanic. Um, I am basically a first responder um, to gas leaks and um, uh, low pressure calls. Our ultimate goal as a company is to provide uh, safe, reliable gas to our customers so during the extreme cold that they could stay warm and also we wanted to keep our employees safe while they are responding to emergencies. So we were experiencing cold weather before the polar vortex came in. We had put in play our advanced staffing plans with looking at the, the temperatures that we were going to see with wind, uh, snow, and the uh, wind chill, we saw that we were going to need to up the resources and up our plan to what we call an extreme staffing plan. So what that involved in is getting all the business units together. We worked with resource management to uh, make sure that we had additional resources in the field, especially um, the shift mechanics at night. We wanted to make sure that they were not alone to ensure that they were safe due to the very extreme cold weather. We knew what critical points we needed to work with, so we had those crews on location ready to, to react because we didn't know why it was going to happen. We, we, we had each other's backs. You know, um, I had a guy that would keep an eye on my truck and make sure kept the truck running so we can you know, keep it, um, keep it warm for me because getting back out of the cold, getting right back into a cold truck was um, not fun either. We would check on each other. Um, they communicated very well. Um, dispatch, my other um, colleagues and stuff. So if there was a situation someone had that was a little bit tougher, um, they would let us know, hey, he's over here um, with this situation and um, can we assist him, you know? And if we couldn't reach him, dispatchers would let us know where they are so we can drive by there and just, you know, hear them and get them out of this cold. It was, um, when I left the house that morning, I saw a uh, minus 35. And I was like, oh my God. I know in those situations that my family's here warm, so they're okay, but there's other families that could be suffering. It was so cold that it was, it actually burned in some cases. And then in some cases, it was hard for me to wear safety glasses because they would fog up. Um, my eyelashes would freeze up. I had icicles on my eyelashes. There's a lot of lessons learned, you know. What I did learn is that our people, you know, in these type of scenarios, they always come through. You know, we rely and our people in the field, you know, they, they work in their cold weather conditions. I think it all started with the system. Our system was very well managed and then being able to respond to the customer's emergency calls throughout. Watching all the teams come together across the board made me very proud to be part of NICOR Gas.